Yo. You ready? Let's do it. Yo, what's up guys? So today we decided to come out to Red Hook. I'm with my boy Daniel, who is behind the camera. So if this video looks way better than all my other videos, that is why. Give him a follow. Uh, we'll put a link down below and his information up somewhere. But you guys also have met him in a previous video when we went to go catch Sunrise at Rye Beach. Was it Rye Beach? It was Rye Beach. Anyway, so today we're in Red Hook, a really cool neighborhood in Brooklyn. It's pretty much off the beaten path, which is why we chose it. We haven't ventured here very much. We picked two films, uh, Ektar 100 and Ektachrome 100. Thought it'd be fun to compare the two. Ektar really pushes the reds and Ektachrome really, the blues really pop a lot in Ektachrome. So let's just kind of see what we get. I'll be shooting Texas Leica, my baby, which I've shot a couple of videos with this as well. Probably be the only camera I'll be shooting film with for the foreseeable future but it's a nice day and uh, we're just gonna walk around and see what we can get let's roll So we just came across this coffee shop, Black Domingo, and it is really freaking nice. And they have a nice little patio back here, and the foliage and the textures back here are really hidden. I'm gonna take a couple shots. Gotta style the scene up a little bit. So, so far we have taken seven shots, which is actually really impressive. We've made it maybe two blocks. I really enjoyed the Red Hook Tavern um, shot where I took a couple photos there. It's just something about the um, font, <laughs> the liquor sign and the font of the window that I just couldn't resist. So, we've got a couple more shots with Ektar 100 and then we'll be switching over to Ektar 100. So we just shot the last shot on Ektar 100 and it was a beautiful blue vintage car and we wanted to compare the two so we're going to shoot the first shot of the Ektar Chrome 100, the exact same shot so we can do a side by side. Let's do it. to test out the ectochrome in the shade just to get a more balanced light to really see how the film handles a scenario like this. Alright, so I think what I want to do here is Cut off a bit of the truck, leave it pretty much truck, sign, and bar sign, and building. That way it feels like a scene trapped in time, and try to isolate it from these more modern cars. Let's try to get the shot. Alright y'all, so it's been a few days. I dropped the film off at Luster Photo Lab. 
down at East Village, which they do a really great job. But I wanted to drop in and kind of give you my thoughts on the film, the Ektar and the Ektachrome. I thought the Ektar 100 performed beautifully. This is exactly what I'm looking for in colors and in just an overall look with my photos. So much so that I probably will be shooting a lot of Ektar 100 for the rest of the summer. I just really love the way that it handled the sky, the highlight details. And again, like I said, the colors were just vibrant, but still had that softness and that airiness to it that I'm looking for. Now the Ektachrome. I thought it was cool. My favorite part was actually getting the negatives back from the lab, putting it up to a light and seeing the photos. I think that was probably the highlight of this film, which is the case for most slide film. I'm trying to decide if I would use it again. I don't hate some of the colors. I, I think some of the yellows were harsh sometimes. The blues were really blue as we expected. I love the last photo where we ended the video with the car parked outside. The skies were obviously richly, richly blue, but it gave it this retro look and it made sense for this retro scene. But overall, I think my thoughts on the film is how most live film is. It's fine, it's a style, it's a look. If you're into that, then it makes sense. Go for it, go crazy. I'm not sure if I would shoot consistently on it. Maybe one day down the road, I'll do some kind of project that's very specific and it's just the entire film stock and just do that where everything kind of has that same feel but it's so different that it doesn't go with anything else. So that's my thoughts. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. And stay tuned for the next episode. Peace.